everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 science fiction film Portal Runner. A film that is directed by Cornelia De Yi and it stars uh, Slogan Morgan Seagal, um, Elsie Erbil, Brian S. Lewis, and it focuses on a character called Nolan, um, who essentially is on the run through portals. Um, he uh, is going through these portals through mirrors uh, into alternate dimensions and he is he has no time within like an hour there's like this entity that follows him this evil entity that follows him through these mirrors through these portals trying to kill him um, he's tried to trap it he's tried to kill it he's tried to do all sorts of things but nothing seems to work so he's constantly on the run through these portals um, until he eventually gets to this alternate universe where he has um he goes in he comes through this portal into his family home as usual and he has a sister there um and things are slightly different in this alternate universe he has a little bit more time to try and figure things out and he tries to get his sister on side in order to be able to figure out what to do right what are my thoughts on portal runner well this is a low budget science fiction film um but to be fair it's it's one of those low budget films that does quite well with its budget. It casts cleverly in the sense of everybody here in this film is of a decent acting standard. And the, the, the two leads especially, um, Elsie Abiel, who plays May, the sister, and Sloan Morgan Siegel, um, who plays um, the brother who's going through the portals. They've actually got quite good chemistry together playing brother and sister and they actually lead the film quite well. Um, so the acting here is of a decent standard for a low budget film, which always definitely helps. The special effects, what effects we get anyway, are again of a fairly decent standard and they're nothing, you know, to write home about or anything. They're not award winning type effects, but they are certainly believable. And the effects that you kind of get is like, you know, the effect of him going through the mirrors and things passing through and this entity, entity that's chasing him through the portals is quite nicely uh, made up in regards to effects. It looks sinister and... Um, it is pretty effective and stuff like that. So the effects here are pretty decent as well and certainly um, don't harm the film. I think the problem with this film is it's a little bit tame. In a sense of it kind of feels like a Sunday afternoon TV movie. Um, there's no real... I don't know, grit to it. Um, it's... It, it feels at times like it's trying to be almost like comedic in its approach. There's some light moments in it. It feels like a family film. Um, and at times then it also tries to be um, a bit of a thriller uh, with some horrific elements thrown in it as well. You know, with this entity chasing them through the, the portals and things. So it kind of becomes a little bit unbalanced, I think. Because it's it's trying to be one thing, but then it's it's also trying to be another. And... The story never really feels that interesting to really, really, you know, grab you and grip you and keep you really, really interested in the film. Um, there are reveals that take place in the film as to why he starts going through these portals, um, how it came about and things like that. Obviously, I don't want to spoil that in case um, anybody watching this wants to check out the film. But it does do a decent enough job of explaining what's going on and what have you. It's just... <laughs> The rest of it kind of feels a little bit melodramatic at times. At times it kind of draws onto the family drama type stuff because it's his family home that he keeps like going into in the alternate dimensions. Um, so his mother's there and his brother-in-law's there and we learn what happens to his father and all this kind of stuff in generally speaking all of these dimensions. Um, it just seems a little bit of this, uh, a strange family dynamic, but it's not that interesting either. It's all held in this one like house for the most part, the story. And it, it feels like some of that you would have watched in the 80s, this sort of film, and or the 90s maybe. Um, but, so really, there's not an awful lot to say about this film other than it's it's pretty unoffensive. Um, you know, it's it, it'll pass the time. Um, it's not, you know, terrible or anything. It's certainly watchable. It's very, very middle of the road type stuff. Uh, but you can certainly do far worse than this one. I think it probably could have done with a little bit more 
tension added to the film, a little bit more, you know, real drama. Um, and expanded the world a little bit, like I say. It always just seems to be in this one place, in this one house. Um, and it's, you know, it, it doesn't feel like it's expanding the world at all, really, in any way. So it's a little bit of a dull experience, but it's not an offensive experience, I suppose, is the, is the best way I can describe this one. So, um, And there are, there are a couple of moments in the film where you're watching it and you think, yeah, this is, the, you know, it... I don't know if tense is the right word, but certainly when they're being chased by this entity and things like that, and there's a, there's a couple of tense moments where they're trying to escape and things like that. But yeah, nothing else really to say about Portal Runner other than it's a, it, it, you know it, it'll pass the time, but it's definitely not one that you're going to be remembering for a long time. It's it's science fiction that you've seen done before in a few different ways, and I'll give it a five out of ten. There's nothing really wrong with it, but. It's definitely not a memorable film at the same time. So that's my review for Portal Runner. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. And of course, I will be back with plenty more content and reviews on the channel very, very soon.